So I think a lot of the times we associate fatigue with a good workout, but in reality, fatigue is just a tool to use to help learn our skills better. So you guys will see a little peek into how I use fatigue, maybe at the end of a workout, to help strengthen the skills that we're working on. Let's check it out. Same thing as yesterday. Any move you want, freestyle dribble, you can change speeds, all that. We're going for a minute. I'll give you different themes throughout the minute. All right, let's go. Really push yourself, and then we'll get into some. So right here, I'm getting him fatigued purposely with this kind of freestyle burnout drill. Now, I'm being very intentful with what we're getting him fatigued with. He's still getting ball handling work. He's still getting creativity work, but it's still putting him in a fatigued state. Now start to get wide with it. Yep. Really get so I'm not gonna have him run up and down for no reason or do two ball pounds for no reason. He's doing something that's valuable, but again, it's still getting him fatigued. 10 more seconds, whatever you want, let's go. Be creative with it. Three, two, one. All right, now, what are two shots that you want, what are two shots that you want to work on that we've been working on? Has he three? Has he three? Corner. Okay, I bet. So you're going back and forth between those. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's make six. Now, this is where it really gets valuable. I'm making him choose two shots that he wants to shoot and wants to work on, and we're going to help him strengthen those skills by getting good at them and developing new strategies that he can use while he's fatigued. I bet. Think about this. Sometimes when you're tired, and this is why I have you shooting them when you're tired. Yeah. Sometimes when you're tired, you have to shoot it differently. Right. Right? Because it's a, you're in a completely different, your body's in a completely different environment. Yeah. So maybe you're coming here, usually you would kind of hang and shoot. Yeah. Maybe now you shoot a little bit on the way up, or you're kind of making these adjustments. Because in a game, you're going to be tired, and you're going to have to know how to work with that, kind of using different techniques. So there's a reason why I'm sequencing it this way. I'm getting him in that tired state first, and then we're repping those skills out so he can learn them in that state. Another thing I'm thinking is maybe a little bit forward. So like you could attack and then kind of create an angle forward so now you have momentum towards the rim. Oh yeah. Come on bro. That's one score on me. However you want to, you're scoring on me with as little energy as possible. You're tired. Let's say you're in the fourth quarter, you gotta score. Little energy as possible. Then lastly here, I just wanna give him full freedom and just work on his ability to go get a bucket while he's tired. Let's get a good shot though. Yeah. One that your coach wouldn't be fucking mad at. You can get to the rim too, whatever you want. Score on me with little energy as possible. Love it. Now, attack the rim, act like you're not even tired. So you're just fucking full out. No try to, oh yeah. No. Yeah. I knew that was coming. Still late, yes sir. That's how you finish out while you're tired. Hopefully you guys are gonna be able to take this with you, maybe apply this into your workouts. Let me know if you have any questions as always. We implement this sometimes in our virtual academy programs, so make sure to go check those out.